The slice select tool is uh, very well situated above the slice tool. Above and below, can you see here? Slice tool and slice select tool. Okay. So click on this. What it is used for is once you create a slice. See, for example, I'm just going to create this area. Okay. Now I cannot create inside because I want to this this particular area I just want as a button so now here here I'll be able to do it I just zoom in okay so I can just zoom it and see I'm not able to do it so now what I'll do is I can just select the slice selection tool go here move it can you see here just move here slightly this also you can just move this also you can just move to your required area now what I'll do is I'll just move this keep it over here move this keep it over here like this keep it over here like this Now next, I'll just create the slice over it. Now when you do this, what is happening is it gets sliced. It will not get sliced inside. I've shown you practically it's not possible at all. So you need to have this as a sequence. Separate. Suppose for example, this is a button. So I need to have a slice here, not inside this. So I can just use a slice tool. I can just very well have it over here like this. So your layout has to be in such a way that you have to adjust accordingly. Okay. Elaborately we will see it in the regular video. Thank you.